dream where you're walking around in a volcano and then you wake up and you're freezing. Oh dear. That's weird. That is quite weird. Well, anyways. So today. My model doesn't want to work. Okay. <laughs> so today. We're playing a game that. I've had many run ins with over the years. But. I have never fully committed to it. Earthbound, the war against Geigers. That subtitle is never mentioned anywhere else, so let's just ignore <coughs> that subtitle, just call it Earthbound. Also, if you ever see like UFOs shooting down like gas stations in a desert town in anywhere in the game, uh, let me know, because I haven't seen it. Okay. B! Who? Oh, the Earthbound, there you go. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, maybe, um. You know, like the desert area. Yeah, but that's. Like, yeah, there's that... no, like, real deserty towns, like, I was prepared. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, but, Very like... weird thing. Uh, go away, demo. Don't go away, demo. There we go. Don't want to see that shit. But, um. UFOs do appear in the desert, so other than that, no. They came bounding over. Oh my god. So let's just start a new game. Uh, fast tech speed, obviously. Why would I not? Alright, let's. So usually I'm the most boring person ever and I would go with plain flavor, but I feel like we should go with something else. I'm kinda torn between strawberry or peanut, honestly. Strawberry would fit Jess in a way. What is plain again? Plain is literally just plain. Banana? Ugh, I don't like banana, it's too bright. I'd say strawberry. Yeah, I think strawberry too, but that's the nice thing, like if you reload the Co ga game, you can go back and change it up again if you want. But I guess for now, let's start with strawberry. I know this. I only know this game with strawberry. If I'm huh. correct. I mostly know it with plain. Well, whatever. So, do we go with canon names? Because I think we should. Because I, yes. I did let's play off on zero and bottom three, and I went with canon names there too. So, at least that part of me remains boring. So we got Ness, Paula, Jeff. And one of them is got, got the shitty end of the stick because his name is Pooh. Oh shit. Yeah, literally. God, it reminds me of the Teddy Tubbies, you know, like Tinky Winky, La La, Deepsy, Bo. La La, Oh. Bo. <laughs> Just who? Who names the. the I don't even, what, even, what even are Teddy Tubbies? No, oh, whatever. I don't know, they're monsters. Yeah. I just know if you decapitated. Angel's brown because he's a cat of poo. I just know if you decapitate a Teletubby and uh, like dismember their arms, they look sus. Yeah. So, King! Not as awesome as Boney. Nowhere near as awesome. But he's a good dog. Favorite homemade food? It's gotta be steak. Classic. And favorite thing? This is where we can go wild, I think. So, we got rockin', hammer, love, gifts, slime. Well, is Ness a fan of Nickelodeon or what? Gaming, boxing, rock. Okay, so I feel like here we can at least personalize it a bit. So what do we do here? Ooh, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, this keyboard is a bit jank. Oh, nice! I can, I can perfectly fit it. Dreams. I think that's that's apt for me. Yeah. Literally p basing my whole personality around dreams at this point, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> my people! <laughs> I knew that Devon would say yeah, something like that. Yeah, he would. He would. So this game was quite interesting for- The year is 1990X! This game was quite interesting in its time, cause back then all RPGs were like fantasy, sword fighting, mages and stuff. And here we just have <clears throat> town, like literally American city town in modern times, quote unquote. There's suburb? Yeah, kind of. I, I think it's more or less like somewhere in England because, yeah. well, because it says Eagle Land. Yeah, but like the land of eagles, that's like America, isn't it? Yep. So in a sense, very dubious. Why eagles though? Like, why do you have your fucking like flag, like main animal mascot, goddamn eagle? What is it? I don't know. Rabaul. Yeah. 
I mean, that's uh, very much liked by people apparently. I mean, if I remember correctly, Germany had some kind of raven or something. So something fucking exploded outside. So obviously that woke us up. Wouldn't no, be surprised. And we obviously go over there to look. What the fuck just? Fell? Now I'm gonna ask my sister. Did you hear that? Why are you awake? No. Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Nah, just I'm annoyed because I got woken up. You know. I'm just gonna steal your cracked bat. Because fuck you, I guess. Fevery! Petition to exclude orcs, major strangers from the fantasy of city, if not fantasy in a fantasy. What? <laughs> Interesting. So, fun little thing like these curtains are a separate layer and they just hide the daylight scene behind them. Because, yes. yeah, the game is quite resourceful and clever in that way. What's that noise? Nice, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? No, I'm chocolate without nuts. I want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so unlike Hinawa, this mom is literally just change your jammies, no regrets, forces you. If you die, I don't care. Yeah, honestly. Dog is sleeping. Why aren't you asleep? Well, uh, fucking woke me up the noise, didn't it? All these classical tropes, and that is true. You can use like classic tropes and shit, but make something unique, you know. Oh, that police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We're going for the world record in closing roads. Why? I'm pretty sure if the if you die, the mother would just be like, eh, "Oh shit!" Yeah, At least we have a new free room now, and we still have another child left. <laughs> yeah. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home! Pro oh my god, it's a Nintendo game that said butt! I am shook. Get your ass home pronto. Yeah, honestly. Meet you at this land and the sharks are running wild in town. <clears throat> your kids are wandering around and I'm hungry! I hate my job! Poor lad. Poor lad. Imagine if you had to do like some kind of chore, like to get some, I don't know. Bagel or something to give it to him so he lets you through or something. Oh god. Isn't funny. Yeah, but like right at the beginning of the game is like, come on. I know, I know. Instant chore. Uh... Also, bread rolls right out of a present. That must be stale as fuck. I could probably use it as a weapon, it would be more effective than a cracked <coughs> bat. Hey Ness, hiya buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. It was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to make my body stronger. Also, here's Wario. <coughs> The weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you. Whoops! I almost told you about my. Uh, by the way, Ness, did you check out my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know? Yeah, I'm a billboard guy. But I didn't check out my work. Treasure Hunter. This is Liar X Aggregate's house. I thought you were a billboard guy, not a treasure hunt. This this guy is. Although, Treasure Hunter would fit Warrior more, so. I'm gonna believe the sign more, so now. Oh, hey, it's Cartman. Hey, Ness! Don't be grabbing it! Okay, I'm not doing a Cartman voice. <laughs> You're getting the cops! Oops, I mean the officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Hmm, clearly. And he's not bugging them by shoving his face right into their faces. Fuck that. But yeah, Pokey is definitely the Cartman of this game, if I had to say anything about that. Because, my god. Yes, he is. I, I think it's kind of like the rule of thumb. Oh, he's fat, he's a cunt. <laughs> yeah, cunt man. There we go. And from the scene there alone, I'd say he's a fucking hypocrite. Yeah, I mean, he is. <laughs> that's pokey for you. Mm. That's pokey for you. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. No. Oh, Ness, you don't understand the importance of a good night's sleep. Psst. Alright. Let's go to bed. Bed go now. Bed go Please sleepy. Sleep. Later that night. That must be a long ass night though. Or Ness just falls asleep very quickly. In which case I envy him. Hey Lucas. How fitting that your name is Lucas and we're playing an Earthbound game. But not the one with Lucas. Yeah, that's a shame. Hmm. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. 
It sounds more like he's trying to tear the door down with his knocks. My uh -huh. land, who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Woody answered, greatest mom ever. Like, could be like a she fucking murderer or serial killer. And she's like, oh, oh, child, go answer. She Fuck really is out for nest yeah. room. <laughs> I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just going to lie still for now. Valid. He literally broke through the door. Like, I didn't even open it. He literally just blasted through. My god. Hey, l l listen to what I've got to say. When I talked back into the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, well, good evening, ma'am. Hey, you're looking lovely as oh, usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, uh, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing is left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, the local ruffins. Uh, they were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Piggy was gone. Uh, I blamed the cops. It suddenly wasn't my fault at all. Good thing Cartman never had a younger brother. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's still true for a long time, I don't spoil myself because I plan to. Ooh. Ooh! Nice! That sounds fun! Wait, that means you ha haven't. You don't know anything about Earthbound? That is impressive, considering how old the game is. You're my bestest friend, won't you help me find Piggy? No. If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Jesus. Okay, good buddy, let's blow this popsicle instead! If I go and say goodbye to your mom. Don't you agree, ma'am? Oh boy. Was a friend well, like him, you don't need an enemy. <laughs> he's not a friend, he's my neighbor, that's all. Mm, that's still. all it is. Fucking hell. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Probably the worst healing item in the game. So, you know, that's great. Probably. But it's, uh, we need to give uh, her 6 HP, yeah, that's like nothing. Jump change. Yeah, but like, also 7 HP occasionally. Yeah, yeah like, like there's some variants in there. Yeah, but you can have like an occasional like lucky moment where you can just quickly heal yourself before you die. Yeah. I'll, I'll get to the battle system once we get into some battles, but you know, for now it's fine. Oh. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I didn't own any concert, I was just uh, doing a. Ah. But it's impressive that you never like, like watch the Let's Play of the game or something. Because, you know, even I did that back in the day. Also, our dad is just a phone, so you know, that's great. <laughs> yes. But at least he's fucking loaded because he just puts shit into our bank account all the time. If he kills something. Which, you know, quite a dubious thing, isn't it? Kill this cat and you'll get two yeah. bucks. Yeah, sure, yes. you're cool, whatever. <laughs> yeah, okay, mom. So we get into our first encounter against a crow. Or should I say, I think it's a spiteful crow? Yes! Yeah. So we got Bash, we got PSI, which there's nothing there yet, so I'll get over those once we have that. Defend, which ups your defense, but you can't move during that turn. Run away, obvious. Goods, use your goods. Auto fight. Sure, I'll show that off. You can just let the game play itself for a while. So we also have some party members in our party right now. King is actually quite useful, at least at this moment. Because King actually fucking attacks. Meanwhile, Pokey is just a waste. A con. Yeah. Literally just a waste of time and space. Also, that crow is fucking me up. Uh, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, please kill it? Okay, that was... <laughs> Jesus. That's not a good sign for what's to come, is it? Yeah, this is why you fight the dogs more, because you get like 4 EXP. Yeah, but if, like, I thought, if I had a dog first, you know, that would be fine. Anyways, here's a little thing. You're hungry already? Why don't you have some steak? Pokey, you don't like steak, do you? Too bad! <laughs> like, even my mom hates Pokey. You know, I take it back, my mom's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's just get past this crow. She's a character with depth. Yeah. I'm just getting crows, are you kidding me? Find the dog, kill it. Yeah, I wish. Well, whatever. King is doing well at least. Oh my god, Ness, yeah. stop missing! Fucking idiot. 
actually it. I swear to God. Ness! What is this? Fucking hell. I feel like... I feel like the cracked bat has like some accuracy. No, that's the gutsy awesome. bat that has that. No, but like, just generally. No, I don't think the cracked bat has anything like that. Anyways, we got Life of Alpha. Recovers a lot of HP actually for this point in the game, so very, very useful. It's gonna be like my main form of healing because I'm probably gonna be way too stingy to use items. I see mm -hmm. you hiding behind the bush snake. So he that is probably the so he is probably the weakest enemy in the entire game, a coil snake. Yeah, that doesn't give you any. Gives you one experience. It, yeah, try to avoid it at all times. This is annoying. Why did you fight it? Because I saw it and I wanted to show the enemy. You know? Okay. Wow, this is showcase the game, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Fair enough, but... Like I see an enemy, I'm like, ooh, showcase. Ooh, enemy. Ooh, Chris item. Ooh, hey, a level yes. 100 enemy. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Uh-huh. Sure you are. Sure you are. So here's the meteor. Oh, I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. And there goes our hopes of having a dog as a party member. Guess we'll have to wait until Mother Free. Mother. There's still lots of fires burning here. There, it's hot. Yeah. Best not to touch that thing yet. What? Oh. You woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad you're, that you're okay at least. Let's go home now. Bet Mom and Dad were sick about us. Geez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. <laughs> Love. Mm -hmm. Pinky is great. So yeah. Pinky is actually a decent party member in the sense that he tries. Yeah. You hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Why do you ask it before the sound clip even plays? See, now I hear it. Could have waited at least like a second before to, to let the sound play, but okay. Okay, Pokey. Whatever you say. A bee, I am. Not. It, according to all known laws of aviation. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Well, that sounds lovely. Geigus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horrors of eternal darkness. So, the Shadow Realm? Yeah. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. So this nightmare rock thing, I think this is never mentioned ever again. So, you know. Yeah. Florida! Uh, mm, it's not wrong. that you are that boy in this. This, this I believe. I guess his monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to, to counter the evil intentions of Geigas. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage and friendship. Ah, the bootleg Triforce. Good to know. Eh. You know, in that sense, Ganon got the short end of the stick because he got friendship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ganon must be pissed. Friendship is power. Yeah, oh. I, I guess, but... Ganon friendship? Nah. Fuck you, I've the power of friendship. Yeah. Did you listen to what I told you? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. You did not fall asleep while listening to me. That is exceptional. <laughs> so there's like so many theories about what Bus Bus actually is. Ranging from it being Nin Tan from Earthbound Beginnings or some other shit. It's, it's just very vague. And I don't think it's ever answered. No, because yeah, no. the main person who made this guy, uh, game is dead. Oh, what? No, he toy isn't dead. Is he not? No! He just recently made like some tweets being grateful that Earthbound got like put on Switch Online and stuff. Huh? Ness, buddy, I have something to tell you, and only you. Can you come visit me later? Alone. So kids, uh, when, a, when a grown man tells you this, uh, you run! Like, very fucking fun. 
This game is teaching us great lessons. Stay up late at night to watch a fucking meteor fall to the earth, bother the cops, beat up local wildlife, and engage in stranger danger. So, you know. Great game so far. <laughs> the moral Nothing. values are great. It's been a long time, Bus Bus. You've been successful at foiling Master Geiger's plans. But, Bus Bus, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Time for our first boss fight. And you can't lose it. Because Bus Bus will provide the best cover in the entire game, more or less. So, you know. Hey. It's a glorified cutscene. But there's definitely some fun stuff that could happen here. Because as you saw, Picky can attack, and on rare occasions it can happen that Picky is the one to deal the finishing blow to Starman Jr. And that's like the funniest shit ever. <laughs> and I think, back when I first started tried to record this game on my Windows XP laptop with a shitty... Picky got a smash! Okay, that's great. Uh, Picky actually killed Starman Jr. And I'm so pissed that that recording failed. <laughs> I I was laughing my ass off back then. That was amazing. Oh well. So level ups. One thing you really want to get in level ups is vitality. Cause when that goes up, your max HP goes up by a lot. So that's always great. It's all random though. So you know. I thought it was static in this game. I know it's it's random, but it more or less evens out and in the end. But you know. Uh, it is random in a sense. But in a home zero, it is 100% yeah, random. Yeah, definitely is. Sup. I'm really sorry that my kids trouble you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Oh yes, now we get some child abuse. And this sound effect was actually changed <coughs> in the non-Japan version to make it sound less like a child being spanked, but I feel like it still sounds like that, so you know, whatever. Tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. Also, oh, that's why my father is so bloated. Okay, cool. May have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lean with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Oh, immediately. Like, yeah, no. Hey! I think it's a dung beetle! I'll smash your guts out! So, giant galactic alien, no problem. Fat wife, the most scary thing in the world. I, I think that's just generally true. Yeah. I was Even... much weaker than I thought. So, you, you must not begin your adventure. See you. Okay, bye. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. My final message. Save the world. Goodbye. To defeat Gaius, your own power must unite with the Earths. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are 8 points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near or not. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yeah. Alright. You're a very intelligent man. Yeah, because I can listen to you. I guess kids just don't like to listen to other people. Yeah, I guess I can see that. Oh, the pain, everything is getting dark. Ugh, gasp. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It's the sound stone. You can record the melodies from the ADO Sanctuary locations into this stone. It's an awesome item. Well, technically, it's literally just an inventory hawk, but okay. I'm almost <laughs> gone, but did you want to hear the story one more time? <laughs> no. Good, it's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. So if you actually fill your inventory with cookies, so that you cannot get the sounds in your inventory, you can actually put it into storage. But I didn't bother. My dad really got after me. He said I get no desserts for the rest of the decade. Yeah, that's maybe good, cause you fat fuck. I don't want to look at the <laughs> meteorite anymore. Yeah, this is child abuse, definitely. But you know, just gonna brush past that. No biggie. Uh -huh. I feel sorry for Picky. Yeah, poor, poor Picky, honestly. But anyways, we pretty much stayed up all night. Now what I would do now is just nap. Because I would probably be dead and devastated by this, but... Eh. I guess we cannot go home because 
An annoying event is gonna happen. This fucking photographer is gonna show up in so many points of the game and this cutscene always takes way too long for its own good. It's just annoying. But apparently like it's very like catchphrasey and stuff with the fuzzy pickers and the ha ha hoo hoo. So you know. Do what you do with that I guess. Mm -hmm. I think this is the reason why Ness can say okay as a taunt. Yeah that's literally it. And I love that. Okay. So. Wait, why? Because of the fuzzy pickles. Yeah. Still don't know what a fuzzy pickle is, but it sounds disgusting. Nice, I got I got a good number in my bank account. 64. It's a great mm. number. Great a bad. I'm gonna continue. Just generally, that's not a bad sum of money. Yeah, I, I guess. Like you could buy like a game for that. Technically, yeah. Uh, oops. Thanks, Snake. A stack of currency. Yeah, you're not yeah. wrong with that. Sure. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Smash. Smashes are your critical hits. So yeah, it's always good. Always good to see those. But so, also enemies can have that. So. Yeah, yeah. And we'll get to see an enemy that really has that later in the first dungeon, actually. So, you know, watch out. Oh, yeah, those things. Labyrinth I've never things. had that. I got another thing for an earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. Oh, great. More items to, to stuff my inventory full with. Let's go. Wait, a map? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. All the info that's there except for the info that isn't there yeah thank you that doesn't help me whatever town map so you can see how big Onet actually is and it's quite a cool and huge place comparatively and there's like a mm -hmm. lot to stuff to to a lot of people to talk to and like you actually kind of want to talk to people just because it's funny you know I don't think I'll go around talking to everyone but if I ever walk past someone, I might just do it. Because why not, you know? Oh yeah, you're forgetting um, item. Item? Yeah, you can get the baseball cap. Thingy. Oh right! Thanks for yeah. reminding me of that. I was <coughs> half thinking that, but then the, 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 the town map thing kind of <laughs> made me confused. Uh. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. That's a pretty good piece of equipment right now. Yeah. So definitely get that. You've grown since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. Okay. I wanna adult. Yeah, th that's a kid. <laughs> Didn't think you could be preyed on by like a kid, but okay. That does happen. I'm not joking because like. Yeah, but kids don't know what they what they're doing. That's the thing. That's not necessarily true. Well, most kids, because yeah. like no. the majority and shit like that, it's just no. Know. Most kids know what they're doing. And they, just... they really do. Depends on the yeah. age, I suppose. To like, mm, let's just say with like five or six, they really know what they're doing. Uh, Sometimes even before that, kids are just dumb. It's horrible. Woof woof! Yeah, I'm Rufini the dog. Them. I'm being possessed by the spear of the game designer. <laughs> Great. Mm. The children I work with, they already know. Oh dear. You know, that that's actually worrying, cause like... Uh, that's... it's. I think it's because we just give kids like iPads and shit nowadays, so it's like... Why? We're just mm. ruining our childhoods in a sense, aren't we? I stay with my opinion, you should not give a child yeah. this... You really stuff. shouldn't. Hmm. You like really, if... really shouldn't. I mean... In my opinion, like... Gaming consoles, okay. At home. But not iPhones... Types or something... Yeah, like, like give them a Game Boy or something, everyone. come on. I mean... Well, let's just say it like this. As long as it's at home... And you have an eye on it that they don't overuse these things. 
Yeah, that's the important part. They should still have, like, um, other things to do. Yeah, you gotta monitor your child's behavior and your child's actions. Because mm. that's, like, your job as a fucking parent. Also to teach them shit, you know. It's not the teacher's complete mission to raise your child. It's a teacher's mission to teach a child about certain things that a parent might not be able to teach them, like maths and geology and shit like that. And science. Yeah. But a parent should teach a child human behavior, like social norms and stuff like that. Basically common sense. Yeah. Oh, this fucker stole my cooking. And that's a thing where I actually can get very annoyed by because I worked at the kindergarten for almost two years. And Jesus fucking Christ, some parents just do not get it. See, that's the thing that annoys me. Like, I still believe that you should take like a test as a couple before you conceive a child. <coughs> like, legally. I know that's never yeah. gonna be like possible in a bureaucracy sense, but it would do the child, the children, so much good. Like for their like growing up and stuff. Yeah. But do you know that humanity would want? To... It's not about the one-child policy. It's about just making sure the parents are mentally able to actually raise a child properly. Because that's the thing, most parents nowadays just aren't, or they just don't give a shit. And that's how we get iPad kids, you know? Mm. Those kids are horrible. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, do you have it? And like, they just walk up to people like, I, I saw one kid, like when I was at McDonald's, what was it? Mm. Do you, um, and like they fucking like grabbed food off this person's plate, like not plate, you know what I mean? Tray thing, and just like my mom said, I can have this. It's like what the fuck? Oh god! Humanity is a mistake. Yeah, as said said a lot to me. Absolutely. I agree with him. Can we just go? Can we, can we just have like no humans on this planet, like just if, animals? At this point, it might just be the better case, honestly. Yeah, like go what? back. I want to be monkey. Yeah, <laughs> where's my <laughs> fuck go back button? Yeah, like, but what animal would do better than us? And I literally uh, every literally animal. anything. No, what's like, the even best animal monkeys there? themselves? Yeah. Yeah, but like, um, it's just the best animal that can do better than us. Like you know what I mean, like <laughs> you know you know what I mean, like which of every animal? Hang on, I don't I don't know how to explain it properly, oh, man. There is no one animal that's better than us because the thing is, animals live with nature. We destroy nature. Yeah, we at least they say, don't. Oh, no. At least they don't have anxiety. <laughs> The thing is, we always, like, humanity itself always says, like, Oh, uh, we're, uh, what do you call it again, like, we're getting used to the environment around us. Like, we learn to live with it, which is bullshit. Yeah, we, we just, we just, deform. we adapt, yeah, we form, we adapt. We, we don't deform adapt. the nature around us. We don't adapt ourselves, we adapt the world. That's the thing. Yeah. But like, um, you know what, um, like, if theoretically, what animal is the best for this planet? There we go, I said it. Hmm. Fucking yes. And that's a question that is... That's quite philosophical, actually. It's not philosophical, it's actually quite dumb. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> Although to like, be fair, nothing like, against... hmm? like, it's an interesting question, but considering all the different habitats the world has to offer, it's like... I don't think there's gonna be an end-all, be-all for this stuff. The thing is, um, anim with animals, there is a balance. Yeah. There is a balance, like, there is literally a thing, if you take one part away from, like, animal life, another might die as well, and due to this one dying, it's literally another one dying. It's yeah, animals are dependent on each other and stuff. 
I know this is like very uh, cliche to say, but you know, um, what's it like with the Lion King? They actually had a few points with these things. Then. Oh yeah, with like the hyenas the turns... eating everything and then they just fucking die. Yeah. The circle of life. That's it. Oh yeah. The circle of life. Yes. Which, which is why there is no one animal that's better to do this because it's just animal in themselves. Like animals. You see what I'm getting at. There is yeah. no one animal for this. Hmm. Well, that's a lot of sharks. Balance is the thing. Yeah, which humanity doesn't have. But we do not have any kind of balance. Like, look at the world. Yeah. <laughs> look at America, it's a quite a mess. And whenever someone tries to like to get into the balancing part of humanity, like other people in the world just think I want to I want I still want to have more nukes than the other ones. Oh god, yeah. Which is why we got into this problematic state of the world. God, I really wish I had a nuke right now. This is not looking good. Oh damn. Oh fuck oh, that. One HP. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, zero. That <laughs> went as well. Whoops. Maybe I should have grinded on some of those lower enemies a bit more. Okay, okay. That, that went well. Don't forget to heal up your pee pee. Pee pee. <laughs> pee pee. Yeah. Well, whatever. Oh, my pee pee's. Oh, yeah, that's what happens. Ah. Uh. No, whatever. Yeah, pessimism isn't a thing, it's called realism. <laughs> The hell is pessimism? Pes like when you always assume the worst thing is gonna happen. It's the isn't opposite that... of op o optimism. Isn't that nihilist? Where you no, see... nihilist is like nothing matters, I don't give a shit anymore. Oh, mm. the emo kids from South Park. Oh. Yeah, no, those, those are goth. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. Wasn't there also some kind of joke that with goth and emo or something? Uh, maybe. Like that they aren't the same, but people yeah. always mistake them to be the same. Yeah. Might be. I don't see what's different be between them. One's trying to be edgy and the other one is... Edgy. <laughs> it's all edgy. But cringy. Cringe as nae, -nae. Mm hmm Okay, this... Saying that cringe is also pretty. Mm. Yeah. I live by the credo of to each their own. I mean, yeah. Mm. Of course. As long as it doesn't harm anyone. Yeah, don't f annoy me with your bullshit, and we we can coexist. Mm -hmm. But if you wanna preach to me, you can fuck right off. Mm. Did the model disconnect or something? I know, I know. It's just light. It always does that, especially when I like touch my face to scratch myself, and then it takes a while to recalibrate, I guess. Oh, okay. Or refind my face, whatever, I don't care. Haha, <laughs> PK's touching himself. <laughs> yeah, I'm just face capturing my dick this whole time, that's the thing. That's why it yeah. doesn't work so well. <laughs> just just put geeky eyes on it. <laughs> why? Are you... Yeah. <laughs> No, I hate it. No. Ah, it seems we got a visit from Mr. Dick. Alright, let's get here. Oh, come on. Okay, good. Skate Punk! And here's where we get into our challenge run! <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding! Don't. I am not I doing a 128 run. I I'm, I'm not gonna sit around for like... 24 hours on one fucking anime. No, never. It's the dumbest <laughs> shit. I do have a lot of patience, but that is. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Uh, also, the motor really doesn't mm. like me right now. There we go. <laughs> Offense up by six! Nihilism might be the belief that nothing matters, but if you actually know the truth behind nihilism, you know that nihilism also says that you have to place worth into things and actions on your own. True. 
Why are we so philosophical and deep with this shit right now? I don't know. I don't know. It was about, it like, was I'm about, just beating like, up some people right now, so you know. And then like you. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, but we were like talking about what, like, giving kids iPads. Yeah. Some shit like that. Oh uh, yeah. That's how it all started. That's how it always starts. It's always iPads. it's always some kids with iPads. Oh fuck off. Fucking Apple. <laughs> it's always Apple. Bad Apple. I wanna try playing that on piano. Ooh. I wanna cry trying to do that. Um, Probably. I mean the melody itself I think is not that tough from what I remember. Toe for bad apple. I mean I feel like isn't that simpler technically? Uh if you do like one part of the melody, like the yeah. Hang on. I, I can probably like connect my fucking. The, the problem Shut with uh, playing piano is more or less just using your hands independently. Yeah. Without one doing the same as the other. Which is the reason why I stopped playing the piano because I was unable to learn this. So yeah. Actually, Mike. give me a second. The mod is gonna disconnect because I'm gonna stand up and open the window because it's getting quite warm. My god, my uh, my room is so messy. Oh my. Also, I was getting a bit dizzy for some reason, so I was standing up. Might help get some blood back in my body. Uh. Were you sitting for too long? No, it's uh, maybe it's the light. Hmm. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just sitting weirdly to get the cam to recognize anything. I don't know. Oh, we got. Wow, it actually. That was quick. Never mind. Yeah, no, whatever. I feel like it's actually the light that's making me a bit queasy. There is so many enemies over there, that is not good. I'm. <laughs> I'm respawning those fuckers. Oh, come on, game! I'm not doing an anti piracy run, fuck off. Jesus! That was my name in middle school. Oh my god, what's going on? And the dog. Well, okay, at least I can take the dog along. That's what... Oh dear. That sounds wrong. So, I got the melody up and... <laughs> Fucking... I hate <laughs> piano. Aww. What do I do it? Why do I do it? Sad and it's piano noises. Oh yeah, I did drawing. Hmm. And it's all my piano and it's all dusty and it's like... What the fuck's wrong with me today? Oh. There's so much shit! <laughs> you wanna start a fight? Like, what? Yes. Who are you? Oh, that's what I mean. I've got so much shit, oh my god, I'm... What's this? Oh, Jurinoku. Jurinoku, I'm gonna post that. Can of fruit juice, that's literally just uh, orange juice again. So, you know. Wait, what did I just say? I meant a cookie. I, have no clue. I meant a cookie. Well, Tess played there for a sex sound like the opening song from Tube Clash Season 1. <laughs> I don't think Tess well, even knows like, what the fuck that is. I know, yes. which is why I think it's even funnier. Blimey. It was you! You beat up my body, didn't you? You'd better just beat it! Here, that's a Michael Jackson reference. I don't fucking know. I have so much paper on my bed and I don't know what to do with it. Okay. Origami. Oh. No. Yes. Why not? Who haven't I posted? Oh, I thought I did something special. But whatever. Oh my god. Why did I draw so much? Oh uh -huh. my fucking god. Because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, that as well, but. Who did I post about? I post about. Yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna take a picture of all of them. Oh yeah, also a Mori. Why? I don't fucking know. Might as well. 
Hey, don't call me Spanky, fucker. It's on a skate park as well. So the skate parks are actually the guys who drop the pizza. One in 128% of the time. So, you know. The fir Wait! Oh, I didn't pay attention to my HP. This happens rather quickly. Okay. Well, that went well. I mean, whatever. I, I beat some people up, I got some level ups, it's fine. Let me just steal my PP back up again, though. That's the thing. I don't know why for a second it sounded as if you were going to end the stream already. Why the fuck would I do that? I have no clue. At what the very least, I want to get the first melody. Hmm? At the very least. Do you also collect melodies in this game? Yeah. That's oh, okay. the sanctuaries. <laughs> now what you just saw there is an insta-kill. And this is something I really want to praise the game for. If the game can calculate a 100% chance that you kill the enemy in the first turn, it just says, fuck it, here's the victory, here's the experience, good, goodbye. Fucking amazing. <laughs> really wish more games did that, honestly. Yeah. Yet they do not. Because convenience is not something they want, huh? Because <laughs> fuck giving the player any kind of convenience in their life. Maybe that's why I enjoy Pokemon Shield so much, because there's so many quality of life changes, it's just nice. I'm just vibing in that. Alright, at this point, beating up the local wildlife is not gonna do us any good anymore, so now we're just really beating up the sharks. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's a funny thing. First of all, that trash can does nothing in it. But this. Okay, pop quiz. A Beatles song. XXX today. Can you fill in the blanks? Yes. That's correct. <laughs> I'm impressed that how the localization team handled that fucking joke. That's quite impressive, I gotta say. <laughs> and I, I remember in the fanmade German patch, the question was like, uh, famous singer, Michael XX Kern. Can you answer? Yeah or nein? Michael, yeah. Michael Jackson, there you go. That's the joke. Honestly, oh, yeah. another one of those. It's clever. It's really clever. I like that. Mm. Also, Yes Man Jr., that sounds like the most. Sad title for any kind of goon ever. Like, I'd take Grunt over Yes Man Jr. <laughs> like, that is just sad. That is just plain sad. And on the hamburger. Hamburgers are really nice healing items at the moment. So, you know. Definitely worth your like 60? Yeah, something like that. This guy again. <laughs> My revenge will be sweet and supper. And what is pretty cool? Skate punk. What looks cool? Uh, nothing. Okay. Mr. Mystery. Two, three. Oh, okay. <sighs> Ooh, yeah, I got a smash. Perfect. It's always nice when it happens. Level 6! Pretty meh. Do you just question how fucking messy your room gets like in a few days? Yeah. Hey kid, do you wanna be a member? Sure. Come back after you finish Earthbound. Oh, okay. That's just a cock tease. Don't be such a snob! Well, you're the snob! You won't let me in before I beat Earthbound? Fuck off! Honestly, fuck off. I don't need your Yes Man Junior bullshit. Fucker. Oh yeah, I haven't drunk this Hatsune Miku drink. 
Oh, I should probably do that. Yeah, you should probably. Or, or you leave it for 10 more years and then you send it to Ashens. Ashens? Oh, you don't know Ashens? He's like a British YouTuber. No. And he like reviews all kinds of stuff like gaming, like, or like expired food items on his couch. It's pretty great. Okay. I'm Frank. You are? Come on! Can you at least say your name? No, I'm a silent protagonist. That's how this works. Frank attacked! And he's got knives. This is not gonna end well, is it? He's got a knife. What you got there? A knife! He's got no. two knives. <laughs> and he killed me. Wait! Uh, Wait! No! <laughs> Yo. Oh, okay. Yo. Whoa. That. Okay. Failproof Frank can't be beaten. And this is Frankenstein Mark II. Frankenstein Mark II attacked. I gotta throw the life up. Oh, spoiler. So, Frank Frankenstein Mark II is actually easier than Frank. It only attacks every second turn. So, you know. That's nice. Still can't believe I fucking clutched Frank. That was amazing. I think you should usually do that. Just fucking just... Hit hard. And just don't fucking worry about health. Just <sighs> keep on attacking. Why not worry about health, though? This is my first defeat. Failproof nest is surviving. Thank you! Failproof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. So I got a special power stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. Oh, I get it. Because it's a giant footprint. You can perform wondrous feats. Please laugh. I must have sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get the giant step, that's all I know. Then turns to the path he is behind the touring entertainer shack. Perkle the mayor of the first thing I saw after I got back from shaving. Feet. Yeah. Did you shave your feet? So here's a nice thing. If you reload the area, Frank becomes a healing spot. Very convenient, very nice actually. I really like this. Shave my beard. Oh, why would you do that? No! Yeah. That's sad. Don't shave your beard. Now you're not Wolfgang anymore. You're just gang. You... Why, do... why does wolf correlate to beard? I don't know. Fluffy? Oh. I guess. I don't fucking know. I don't know what wolf... wolf... uh, use fucking beard feels like. It looks fuzzy, so... Fuzzy. <laughs> so yeah. Take advantage with all your help. Oh, uh, in the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. He he he. I, I dang well won't. Hey hey hey! I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle! So nice to meet you! I don't think it's ever stated what B.H. stands for, but I'm just gonna say bald head. Because he's got a bald spot. Yeah. You beat up the town bullies, punched them out big time, kicked their butts, spit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. Jesus Christ. Probably not in that order though, cause, you know. Unless they wet their pants after I killed them by ripping off their heads. Yeah, that works. I'm in a housekeeping now and I want the classic full on Lamberjack beard again at the... Ooh. Then you forced him to promise not to make any more trouble, thank you. What? You want to keep the touring entertainer shack? Somewhere as great as you, giving you the key code to help keep the town peaceful. <laughs> if you got a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? God. I love how both Earthbound Beginnings and Earthbound make so much fun of mayors and like political figures being such corrupt bastards. It's great. Nothing has changed in these years. Nothing has changed. Yeah. Nothing changed. I love that. 
I mean, I mean, why learn I don't from the past? Yeah, I don't think you should love that. I think you should hate it. In in fact, actually. Well, do you know what sarcasm is, PK? Yes. And I'm full of sarcasm, so fuck yeah, you. So am I. I actually nice. once won a sarcasm contest in Illinois. Jokes on you. No, you didn't. Yeah, I know. Because I did, so fuck yeah. you. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> you open the door. Alright, he's a trigger for good luck. It's a travel charm. This thing is actually really useless. I think it prevents paralysis and nothing here can inflict that, so it's like, okay. Yes, there can Also, I'm pretty convinced this is in America, because look at how thin this wall is. Like, that is ridiculously thin. There's just nothing. Fair enough. Just nothing. But anyway, it's time for our first dungeon and... You know, Earthbound dungeons are just places that are awkward to get through. Just winding mazes with enemies that spawn. It does the trick, I suppose. Starting off, we got a rowdy mouse, and these things have their guts stat raised incredibly high, meaning they get smash attacks very often. So, you know. Damn. That's pretty great. One hell of a mouse, eh? Yeah, it's a rowdy mouse, so, you know. Be careful. Fun fact, you can go the entire game without getting, like, smash from them. Yeah, you can. Yeah, and I feel lucky. I like that. <laughs> Oh god, there's more mice. More rats. I, I did... I did sacrifice someone. <laughs> That's Someone. So that might explain the luck. Resurgence. So, I, I don't fucking know. No one knows. Yeah. So Level 7! Vitality up in 1, that's what I wanna see. Fuck yeah, beautiful. So really I wanna be like level 8 at least for the boss of this area. Because that's like the optimal level for an ability that we will get at that level. It's gonna help. Attack slugs! These are the enemies you really want to see in this dungeon. Because these things are weak as fuck and they give a shit ton of experience. So definitely worth fighting. Problem is though, they are represented as one tiny pixel on the overworld. So yeah. There's another enemy that's also represented by tiny pixels, but they are quite threatening actually, so be careful. Also, attack stocks can no PSI moves after yeah, like but they, turns. Yeah, but they turns. don't... they can't master them, I think. That's a great room, nothing in there. Love it. After like three turns, they can use it. Huh. Like it is this alpha? Maybe. Which is fucking annoying. It's not maybe, it is true. And here's the third enemy of the dungeon, the black antoid. These things are quite scary, they can call for help, they can cast life up alpha, and they hit quite hard as well. So, you know. They Good look like idea. Patterns. They do, they do. Which is kinda cool. Yeah. Hmm? What do they? They're like, joined up atoms, like the head is like, I don't know, a big, like, atom. And the other two are like smaller atoms. Ooh. And I gotta heal, this is not looking good. There you go. Yeah, there's three of them. That's obviously. I, I think there's like a cap. I hope there's a cap, because this is. Oh, yeah. Dear. Yeah, the, because like. No more than three can appear. Yeah. But when one dies, yeah, they can appear again. Yeah, that was a really long battle for me. Alright, one is I... dead at least. Life up. Nope. Great. God damn it. I, I love this so much. Ay ay ay. Well at least I literally have no money on my person at the moment, so it's like fine. Yeah. Cause you actually lose half your money if you die in this game. So you know. It makes sense. That's how you control. That's why it's always important to deposit your money in the ATM. Whenever you don't need it. You don't need to use your ATM card. You you need to still have it in your inventory, but if you quick check it, um, the ATM can automatically open it. It's pretty cool. Huh. Yeah. You didn't 
know that, PK. What do you mean, quick check it? Yeah, like, um, on the Wii U version, you press L. Oh my, I mean, that's what I did too. Yeah. I use L for everything, I don't use the talk check commands. I just use L. Yeah. And you didn't heal. Probably should do that. Ah, oh, fuck. No, actually, no, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. If I can get just... If I can just get high enough in this dungeon, I, I'll I be know. fine. But how lucky are you today? Well, clearly not very, because this game is kicking my ass. Yeah, maybe he will if you die. Because Ooh, a bread roll. Nice. Nice, nice. Ooh, bread, bread rolls up. Wait, well. Shut up, I'm, I have a disability. I was making fun of Dr. Light, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I doubt that very hard. Wow, these mice are sucking now. They don't give any smashes. Yeah, that happens. Yeah? Like I said, you can go through the entire game without those critting you. Oh. Ah, uh, these, I feel like these are androids. Oh no, attack sucks. Perfect. If you see like a bunch of dots bunched up together. I mean, it could still be androids mixed in there, that's the annoying part, you never know. Yeah. But. Yeah, there's two androids there. So you need to run. Yeah. Oh dear. I swear androids are like the biggest threat in any yeah, I... run. Well, at least in this dungeon, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Level 8! Offense up by 4, defense up by 2, speed up by 1, guys. Up by... PSI Dreams Alpha! This is Ness's only form of PSI attack. <laughs> but honestly, it's all he needs. It's pretty fucking strong. Yeah. It's just a nuke. Well, that's the. Gonna. Come on, game. I know you can re despawn those. Game, I know you can. Be kind. Game! Stop! Oh my god! Oh my god, Kim. Jessica's such a bitch, isn't she? No, I'm not. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my god, can we despawn the rats? Like what is this? <laughs> I think you're having a bit more of a problem on the other yeah, side. Okay, I can deal with one rat. That is for cactus. It's Reggie. Rowdy Reggie. There we go, it's dead. Yeah. Call the game by its name. Earthbound Ooh. War against Geigers. Oh no, here's the full name. You're fucked. You fucked. F O O A. You should have said it like uh, Mother 2, or also known as. <laughs> yeah. Earthbound. 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 Breakfast. 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 I feel like I'm one hitting the black androids now or something. Yes, you are. Yeah. Because the slugs are... Oh, come on, game! Oh, come on! Whoa. Fine, I reload the fucking area. Jesus, just... Are you fucking... Give me the thing! You can't get it from exiting the left side. There we go. Magic butterfly. We've seen those earlier already in the stream, but I didn't mention them yet, because it was like, whatever. There's to your big... They restore your PP. They won't restore PK? Yeah. I don't think life up alpha would help me anymore. I think I need healing alpha at this point. This is nerf one job now. Yeah. yeah I think, I Someone called Mercy. I think he just needs help. Yeah. Just general help. Because your core hasn't recovered. 
Why would it? Uh, it's just part of my character now that I'm constantly coughing. Is your character great? Yeah. I have a two on there, really. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, man. There we are. How was that a back? Ah! Nah. Oh my nah. god. Yeah, because you're standing a little bit to the right. God, this. Yeah, like, generally back and front attacks in this game are very dubious. It's way more clear in Mother 3. Yeah. Way more clear in that. So, yeah, now. But in Earthbound Zero, you never got a surprise attack, but always the enemy gets a surprise attack. It's always a surprise, because it's always random. Yeah, but, like, you never get, like, a first strike. Yeah, that's just happens. But that's like fucking rare and rare. But the enemies just get it every single time they appear. Oh yeah, I just ate a skip sandwich, which boosts my movement speed for a while. It's actually very useful for clipping out of bounds if you want to be a speedrunner, but well, I'm not. So you finally got here. This is the first year sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Do you dare? Yeah, time yes. for our first Sanctuary boss, Titanic Ant. So, you see he has a black android behind him. His big ass ass actually hides a secondary one. So, what I usually do is I throw up a PSI favorite thing at the beginning of the battle. Just to get rid of these fucking and. ants. Doesn't clipping out of bounds and reaching the map board a mess of the game of If you yeah, do it on net, you pretty much reach the top right of the entire map. Of the yes. entire map data, and if you check there, you more or less hit the code. Like debug. the literal RAM of the game. You hit the like the debug thing and yeah. so I'm like You can trigger the de you can trigger the debug menu. Doesn't mean you will, but you could. If you're lucky. Yeah, or you can have your game crash. That's mostly what happens. Yeah. Uh, remind me once we get to free that I gotta showcase a thing. To where? Once we get to free, like the third town. Okay. Uh, so I really wanna showcase something there. Oh yeah, that. Uh, the tent. The tent. The tent. Vitality up by one. Yeah, boy. Level ten. Woo. And healing alpha, excellent. So, if you don't know what to do with this boss, or like you're not prepared for like extra enemies or something, might be a bit rough, but as it is, it's fine. And here we are, first sanctuary. That's one big foot. Foot yes. fetishists eat your heart out. No. Yeah. <laughs> or should I say lick your feet out or something? I don't know, man. A PK shut up. Yeah, I should. So, once you kill a sanctuary boss, all the enemies start running away from you. <coughs> Meaning, it will be quite easier to get first strikes on them and kill them easier. So, it's free experience on the way out, I guess, so that's nice. EXP precedes the miss the first enemy. I didn't miss it. Well, you. Oh, right, that. that it, yeah. yeah. The cookie. I swear, if Ness already is homesick, I'm gonna fucking cry. Because that's a mechanic in this game, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk more about it once we actually get it. Because it's quite the thing. Well, it makes sense. 
I guess. Wouldn't you be homesick? God, my inventory is being cluttered with cookies again. This is uh, horrible. Consume the cookie. You really gotta. Also, the cookie also can potentially heal up to 9 HP. Yeah, well, that's like rare <laughs> stuff, isn't it? Yeah. That must be a really good cookie. Oh, yeah. I really want a cookie now, my god. I don't. I have cake. Well, fuck you then. I want the cake now. Blimey. Get your ass over here then. I feel like in the time I get over there, the cake's already gone. <laughs> just a hunch. I still have more. This dude is just a cake factory now. Yeah, but he did make bake free. So. <coughs> Big. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking hell. I hey, you. Three cakes. Oh, nice. Hey, you. Okay. The board yeah. says do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Uh, actually, it says no. don't enter. Slight, but still a difference. So I guess I couldn't read it. What a rebellious kid. Come to the Orlando police station later. Okay. You know, th this cop is pu putting a lot of faith into this kid. He's just saying, come over to the station later instead of just arresting me right then and there. You know, mm -hmm. really makes you think, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good policeman. Good policeman. Uh, doesn't the dogs like drop bread rolls? They do. They do. Yeah, so it's always good to fight them. Sounds so horrible out of context. I get me like two more dollars or something. Just so I can do like a call. Yeah, okay, so there's a like call from the mo Mom, I'm literally like a kilometer away. What the fuck? How is the reception this bad? Oh god. Well, let's save the game. It's always good. Um, maybe the area where you're in is like just really big so it echoes eh. well anyways now it's time for actually quite a difficulty spike in this game so uh yeah yeah i guess they, they, they just kind of want to vibe check you to make sure you didn't just fluke the boss or something so you know i heard there's a guy who stops to read each bullet and body encounters then he says jack rooney is that you Road to Tucson. You thought I would say Jack Rooney, didn't you? No, that joke is overused. <laughs> so here you are. You are the little limpet that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. I like how it sounds like he actually read the sign and then tried to backpedal on his mistake. Prime. Furthermore, blah, 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 blah. It's usually those tax evaders who blah, 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 blah. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know. Blah, 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 blah. blah. It's usually the local wine has to make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites. Okay. Aren't you supposed to, like, put those in, like, asterisks? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Puts blah, like, asterisks at the beginning and the blah is still outside the asterisks. Yeah, honestly. So dumb. Why is the Rosa Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Kids like you should be burning in hell. Oh, don't, don't do that. Because I'm literally playing a sans, so you know. Oh uh, yeah, the fucking shitty map out there. Yep. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, Follow do we get me. the face around? Oh, do we get the face with the guy? Ah, sometimes you can Aww. face with a guy. It's kind of funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Fucking uses magic. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Police violence. Great. Yeah. Hey, small fry. You must be shaking your boots. I'm wearing shoes, not boots. Yeah, Mad Pet still does shit. The only thing I watch from him is when he does flap stuff. So you know, rarely. Yeah. Ooh, that did. Uh... Right, it's time to heal next fight, definitely. That's not good. 
Might just eat a hamburger. Yeah, this is where you usually just take in a lot of hamburgers. Yeah. And just fucking blast through the game until you meet Paula. And. God, Paula will be a drag to level up. That's gonna be. Ugh. Yeah, but Jeff might be a little bit simpler. Yeah, Jeff might... will be simpler. Oh, no, 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 god damn it. And then there's Pooh, who's the easiest to catch up. Ah, fucking hell. Ah, blimey. Actually, give me a second, who the fuck pinged me? Something this time. Okay. Ah, where are we? Oh, Jokes yeah. on you, it was me. It, it wasn't. I know. You just want to joke on me, huh? Yes, but also my headphones are fucked up. Like, so my headphones are just like fucking coiled around the place and it scares me. My room is a fire hazard. Oh dear. That's not good. Like, you look down like... By one side of my bed, it's perfectly clean. The other side, yeah, it just has has a bunch of wires. Hmm. How hasn't anything in my room caught a light? Spontaneous combustion. That's what it is. Yeah. But there's worse fire hazards out there. With wires. I mean, yeah. Like one of the biggest fire hazards I've ever seen was like, you know, Christian. That dude's house was the biggest fire hazard because like his parents were like fucking hoarders. Horrible. Yeah. I think it actually burned down one time, so you know. Yeah, but that's not because of wires, it's just like crap. There was literally just crap everywhere that just fucked everything up. Oh yeah, someone did an interview with Chris Chan before all this shit happened. Huh. But I do know Gamer from Mars is doing like a documentary series on him right now. Oh. Interesting. So that's cool. Quite informative. Why are the cops so fast? I don't know. I don't you like it. You should heal. You should heal. Yeah. Like, like every two attacks you heal. Oh my god! Was that? Oh my god, too. Mission 26. Oh, the smash. Yeah. What the fuck? Ridiculous. <laughs> my god. Oh my gosh, yo. Bring it oh on, fat god. boy. What do you mean, fat boy? You're, you're the fat boy, shut up. You're fatter than me, fuck you. Just you look at Ness and look at the cop. Who's fatter? Cop. Cops are always fat. Yeah. Even in Pokemon, Sword and Shield. Yeah, shield especially there. Hippie Kiwi. Shield and Sword. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, why <wire> next? <laughs> Nuclear suplex attack. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, like, the only one I won't say it as is red and blue. Because it's just. No. Mm. Oh, come on! Ah! You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this is a, still a vibe check, to, even if you didn't flute the boss. Yeah. Maybe I should buy some hemp. I think I'll just rely on my PSI, honestly. Yeah. Okay, I'm kinda close to a level up, so it should be fine. Mm hmm. Stingy fucker. <laughs> yes. 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 I'm the dude who hoards potions for the final boss and then doesn't use them in the final boss. Honestly, same. Why don't you? Why should I? I mean, well, I could maybe use them at a later time where they are more needed. Yeah, final boss not important enough. Ah, uh -huh. clearly.
I understand Earthbound, where you need to hoard them. Like, no, you don't the, hoard them, you actually gotta use the items because the inventory is so small yeah. and shitty. Yeah, but like in, um... Like the final boss, you need like to hoard like some PSI capsules. Yeah, like, PSI caramel and stuff, yeah. Yeah. That's important. Let's not talk about the final boss in the first part. No. We, we already did like 20 minutes in the stream. I mean, technically, Bus Bus already spoiled the name. Yeah. True, no, actually, true. the title. Oh, yeah! The title also spoiled it. Spoiled it. Fucking hell. Yeah. Blimey. But I guess the it's villain. good to know, like, the actual name of the villain. Yeah. Straight off. So it's not like always like the pronoun game with like, oh, it's him who's doing all this bad stuff. Like, who is him? Come on, just tell me. Is it. Is it. Is it Jessica? Is it. Is, is it this fucking coin I found on the ground? Yes, who it, is it? It's definitely the coin you found on the ground. That's like the most evil thing ever. Fucking Colin! <laughs> Colin? Don't, don't you mean Coin Lin? I mean, Colin is an apocalypse beast, uh, consisting of a amount of leeches, so, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it could be, it could be Colin. That sounds gross. Wait. Actually, Colin is a re very nice one. Wait, I'm confused. Is that not nice SCP? Man. I feel like it's an SCP. No. Oh. Colin is a summon. Oh. Colin. Of what? I don't know. <laughs> Sep's not telling us, that's the problem. Is it him? Tess Jessica? <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, that's yeah. also what I was thinking. Oh god. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, but like, games can be very fucking vague. It's like, yeah. him. 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 <laughs> he whose name shall not be spoken. God, I remember like, I think in Powerpuff Girls, there was like this Satan dude who was just called him, and he was super gay. Oh, yeah. 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 That's true, I remember. I only saw memes about him, and it's yeah. like... <clears throat> it's like, okay. Oh yeah, you wanna know like the most stupid funny shit? Sure. Uh, you guys remember Attack on Titan, right? I don't no. remember and it. it has, and then it has like, right now the final season. Right now it's running, uh, like ending is final season part 2. They announced final season part 3. I mean, let them honestly. Get ready for my super ultra mambo tango foxtrot martial arts, hell yeah. It's just... come on guys. Here's Captain That's... Strong. Gonna throw the PSI just... dreams. I don't think that works like 100% of the time against him. I think he has like a 75% chance of damaging. We never know. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Easy. Let's go back part 998.9. Oh yeah, that I think Gronk did that. Oh, that was that was great. Oh boy. Strong here to read me. It's me, Captain Strong. This is the kid named Nessa will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a car. Okay. Oh yeah, this is shit. Shit, yeah, that's true. That's oh, that's good. Coming out 2023. Yeah. I mean, let them take their time with it, honestly. <laughs> what? It's just... <laughs> I've been playing Earthbound lately. I'm having a tough time. I like to believe he's stuck on the police fights. <laughs> yeah, yeah just, probably. Just for ultimate irony. It's pretty great. I, I thought that, like, as well, because we're somewhere in Onet. Because yeah. it's a big curve. So now it's time to talk about the next feature of the game, hotels! Another healing spot, but we gotta pay. Because of course. Yeah. I don't, don't know. Need to. Much. You can just go to Frank. Yeah, but I wanna showcase the scene that happens once you actually sleep in hotel. After you unlock Tucson. <coughs> 35, oh fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, the hotel expert is here and he can tell us how good this hotel is. Is shit. <laughs> Good day. Yeah. I got out one of the. Where you guys go? Stay, yes. Ness? 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 Yes! I'm a friend who, who you have never met before. 
Well, how can we be friends then? My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I'm Paula. Well, that cleared that up, didn't it? You, you can also, like, go home and sleep. That This will also trigger. I guess, but that's quite that's a bit of a trick right now, so it's like, whatever. <clears throat> Might as well. Yeah, and also, how I knew about that is just me not knowing Frank exists. <laughs> like, with his uh, fucking healing. That, I, I was so angry when I found that out. What the fuck? I have to cough the whole time. This is not nice. That's a sweet Ness going all out. Oh yeah, honestly. Like Ness still has like a thousand bucks in his bank account. Like, dude can splurge a bit. <gasps> I have all this money, please. Boy, I wish. I wish we all had this kind of money. Just beat the shit out. Yeah, of just beat up some people, get... some cops. You'll get the money from your dad. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Is that? I don't think this is how it works. Yeah, sadly it isn't. That's a shame. Well, you can borrow money from people. Oh yeah, yes. they're all gonna do this with like these loan shark kind of people. Oh yeah. No, it's just a good no, old pyramid scheme, honestly. No, yeah. you don't ask for it. You just borrow it. As I learned from <coughs> Great Marissa, just borrow and just don't ask. Also borrowing. Okay. Tiolets. Tiolets. Let's go to see what is what okay. Yeah. Shit hotel. Sad. Mm. But yeah, we got an exit mouse, which is gonna help us get through. It's gonna help us with dungeons sometimes if we like lead to get right out of there like a, as an escape route, because of some reason. Low HP, I suppose. Huh. Yeah, or just too lazy to track back. New enemy: rambling evil mushroom. This fucker, this fucker is evil. Okay. And he's dead. These things okay. can spoil you. Like, that makes a mushroom grow on your head, making you mushroomized. That's pretty much confusion. And also, if you have a mushroom on your head, your controls will start being flipped in the overworld randomly. Uh, so good luck navigating. Minute. Yeah, more or less. After. No, it's every single minute it changes oh, and you know what's even better i didn't know about that like until i got like healing or my character died oh dear yeah so the girl like outside picking mushrooms can yeah uh, they can, you have, they can buy them off of you yeah or the so blue healer like, tulson we got yeah. this name because we weren't first <laughs> fair enough yeah oh boy Oh, great. <coughs> Pictures taken instantaneously. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Oh, net. One. Two, son. Yeah. Two, son. Two. Three. Three. Four Fuck's sides. Sake. Oh, my God. And there's also Tender Village later on. Yeah, ten villages. I don't think so. But do you want a bicycle? Ten. Sure, that sounds nice. Unfortunately, we have we only have rentals. Do you want the rent one? Yeah, sure. I tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. Let's got the bicycle. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle, so of course three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Did you also know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? <coughs> Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. And don't even think about riding a bike in a cave. So check this shit out. This bicycle is the most useless fucking shit ever. So you know, just fucking useless. Foreshadowing, indeed. Mister T. It is quite fast, but it's kind of fast. But yeah, it's. Not useful at all. So this is going straight <coughs> into the fucking X Cargo Express. Yeah. And I guess while we're here, at, at least Ness is having a good time. Yeah. <coughs> right, let me just. 
I think it's like 18. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I wish I could set it, it's a key item though, so can't. No, given it, uh, given to the express thingy, it's like yeah. 18. Yeah, I know. So, this is actually hella complex coding there. The pathfinding of these guys who come towards you, like the escargo or like the pizza delivery later, they actually have to plot a path through the collision environment to walk to you. That's what the game always stutters a bit before they show up. The game calculates stuff there. So the bicycle can go. The town map can go. I don't think anything else can go. Yeah, think on that we're fine. So yeah. Just get rid of that shit, free up my inventory a tiny bit. Oh, it's also you. This is big brain time. Big brain time. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see. So, total Iwata magic. I hear. Yeah, that dude probably called it that shit. You never know. What shit exactly? The pathfinding of the NPCs. Mm. Okay. So the slingshot is technically a better weapon. But I would yeah, advise against yeah I would advise against it because you miss constantly with that fucker, so don't. But and not to mention if you have crying with that, my yeah. god. So anyways, I'm gonna buy a teddy bear, which acts as like a dummy party member. It can tank hits for you. Quite nice. <clears throat> I think it has about a hundred HP. So you know, Roughly. not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> How old is Ness? 13-ish. Uh, yeah, yeah. 13, 14. I'd say so. I think, like, Nintendo is, like, a little bit older than Ness. No way? Uh, yeah. Roughly yeah, yeah. around the same age as Ness, but Lucas is way younger. At least in the beginning. Yeah. He's, like, seven there. Uh, Nine, something around that. I'd say nine, and then like a three year time skip. Yeah. Then he's 12. S still youngest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, we don't know how old Nintendo is either, so. Yeah. I still remember the time where I always thought, like, oh, when someone is 16, they are like already very um, adult and all this shit. And nowadays, I'm just like, what a fucking child. Yo, it's Mario and Luigi. Times. We, that's right, we're the Runaway Five. We're popular but not rich. We're being cheated by this fear that we're really deep in debt. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house with the preschool is the talk of town. I wanna see her someday. Ah, neat. Where's your source? Is your source do trust me? That's the best source. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm stupid, I should have brought some money. Because okay. Burgling Park is like, there's extra <clears throat> stuff you want to buy there. God damn it. <laughs> Efficiency! A fish yes. you see? I don't see a fish. I like how that truck just fucking... Is into like fucking thin air. Yeah. Just right. I'm just gonna deposit like 500 bucks. I think that's gonna be enough for what I gotta do in tools in general. So let's hope that's fine. Wait, isn't it? What did you need 500? Oh, I yeah. I don't think I need 500 in general, but I'm just gonna get a bit more just in case. Yeah, I think it's like 200. Oh, jeez. Why is the dog here? Dog? Away. Run away dog. I think those are a bit more stronger. Nah. Wait. Nah. No, they're not. Nah. No, it's, it's the ones that formed the first town. I was thinking of yeah. something else. Alright, this guy. I own an antique shop. No one is buying or selling anything. So I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98. Please buy it. So now we can be our own shop. So we, if we ever get like some random shit in our inventory that we don't want, we can just set it off instantly. Pretty nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Why don't we chat later after we've locked horns? 
Hey, Roger Rat! Just seeing this madman on the fucking roof and just knitted Ed Everdred knitted its brow. Thanks, game. Is that a verb that correctly corrects? He stole my cold remedy. What the fuck? What did he steal? My cold remedy. Mm. Like that's like the most. Oh yeah. Oh fuck off! Don't steal my hamburger. That's actually bad when he steals that's it like a annoying. hamburger. You can like I, back after you I don't think so. No. Like I couldn't care less about the cold remedy, but the hamburger I I am very sad about actually. Yeah. Hamburger. Yeah. Yeah, hamburger. Some. Level twelve. Good. Offense up by five. What is up with my offense buffs in this? Like Jesus, <clears throat> Ness is becoming a fucking beast. Defense up by five. I three. think I think Ness is just a goddamn tank in any goddamn I mean, yeah, situation. Yeah, but still. Yes, I'm ever read boss of Berglin Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Yeah, that's excuses, huh? <laughs> anyway, I lost it. Nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about the girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful West Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely Sacred hardcore first. strange. You know, Sacred she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you're safe, Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? <laughs> Don't forget. <clears throat> Blimey. Sacrifice. 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 Who would sacrifice a British person if we are done with this? Ooh. What? Ah, oh, nothing. Nothing. Ooh. -voo. You wouldn't get anything out of it. Hmm? That's just... That's just a general, general thing, because I'm worth nothing. Paula is like I'm a actually... mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. Honestly, that sounds terrifying. Cause like, you wouldn't fit in with your peers, and adults would just not take you seriously at all. Yeah. That must suck. True, that must still suck. Be... That's still like the thing. Like, you'd just uh, be like... alone, more or less. Uh, yeah, kinda. But like that's a thing that I always think about. Like, uh, what if my with my knowledge I could go back to the time where I was like very young with knowledge I have today and change. Oh, I do have my cold remedy back. That's nice. You do? Yeah. But I don't want it. So goodbye. I'm just gonna steal Paula's teddy bear. I thought you didn't get it back. Yeah, I thought so too. I guess you do, huh? So you want to see Paula? Sold that. Many come to see America's powers, but they're just leeches. Are you from a TV station or what? Nah. Paula said she would only with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You'll save the world. I love how the dad is just going along with this shit. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Will you come back later? How did the parents oh. not notice that she got kidnapped? That's... Whistle whistle anywhere, know. it makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother, I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula, she's a guardian <sighs> angel it seems. They just she don't give a mind. singular shit about her, what the fuck? The dad does. I I guess, but like still, he also didn't... Oh my god. The mother also just wants uh, the, the room to be free, yeah. so she can rent it. Yeah. It's Apple Kid. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard it's of me? Fun. I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. <laughs> I have a lot of invention and development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy go lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, Don't I'm working on this machine that would really help you in peaceful rest valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? Oh, goody! Would it be okay to get 200 bucks to buy materials? Thank you very much. Your support should have tremendous impact on all mankind. Let me give you my new Super Orange Machine. I call it Suproma for short. Please use it for spreading peace and goodwill on Earth. I feel like this dude just made a nuke. No. He, Orange he, Kids he, Invention. The full name is Super Orange Machine. So let's use it. The Suproma sang the song Ode to Orange Kid. As soon as it finished, the machine broke down. I said no, PK. Yeah, but I wanted to show it because it's funny. 
Ah, Harder drive, don't worry, my pretty bitch will be money. there soon. It's fine. Like, late game money will be such a non-issue, it's like, whatever, honestly. You know? But this is still early game, BK. Yeah, don't worry about it. No, it's a bit of a pigsty, you... but anyway, I'm Apricot. I'm taking the bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. You have anything to eat? If you do, can I have some? Sure. Seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in the inventions? Yes, yes, yes! Oh, oh, excuse me, I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use 200 bucks. Sure, there you go. Well, I was like right on the spot with my cash there, wasn't I? Jesus. It's a broken mm -hmm. machine there, that's for later. No one's given me a name yet. You took care of a master return, I want to give you this. And another key item that you have to lug around the receiver phone. You cannot make calls with that, you can only receive calls. Meaning we can get spam called, yay! Spam to the mother calls from Pokemon. Oh hey, it's unassuming local guy. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> yeah, the finger gesture it doesn't make me feel safe. This dude just doesn't make me feel safe in general. Mm -hmm. Humans don't make me feel safe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's a classic. The new age retro hippie. Oh yeah. Uh, Lost his temper. Okay. And he's defeated. Is he a Twitter user? No. No, he's a hippie. He's a hippie. You know, like Woodstock. Yeah, but he lost his temper. Yeah, so? Aren't hippies supposed to be all like pe a piece? I mean, I literally energy. bashed his head in with a baseball bat. But didn't you get angry as well, Sep? I'm not a hippie. Yeah, but would you get angry still if okay, I- Okay, that is hippie? weird. There's just like a, yes. a, a doorless house here in like the last corner of this of stuff. That's great. Yeah. If someone bashes your head in with a bat, would you get angry or not? Probably not, because I would probably be knocked out or dead. Oh boy, it's the annoying old party man. I don't know. Beat the shit out of him. Grumble about today's youth, Ness's guts went down! <laughs> oh, wait. Wolfgang said something very true. Humans are not safe for work. I mean, technically. Hmm. Oh, also, they can be safe for work. They could. It's a double edged sword. So if you went a bit further, there would be the tunnel, uh, but the tunnel to freed, but there's ghosts there, so we can't go there yet. And here we have Cranky Lady! And I guess when you get cranky, your skin turns blue. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Why did she scold the teddy bear? <laughs> what? When you scold the teddy bear. Uh, it, it makes sense at this point, because she's cranky and yanky. I guess. Yes? Huh? Oh I god, so many cranky ladies, help! <laughs> I did not have any clues for my eyes. Uh, uh, like, the battle sprite was purplish, right? Uh, bluish purple. Yeah, like a bluish purple. Uh, Isn't this called violet then? I don't know. Probably, I never. I don't remember what violet looks like. Hey, Echo! What does violet look like? That's like a very philosophical question. Thank you. The fuck? She ah. was talking about a flower called Violet. Oh, yeah. How lovely. Stop grumbling about today's youth. Well, today, the youth of today is not very good. No, also, no. Wolfgang, yes, you are right with this statement. When is he ever not MSFW? right? That's a good question. Yeah, exactly. Only fans is 100% safe for work. Oh, yeah. Well, except for murdering. Except for murdering. I mean, I guess. But 
Yeah, you can make a hobby out of that. Look, look at Hitler. We can make a religion out of that. Oh god. Yeah, Hitler. Anyways, I guess it's time to head into Peaceful Rest Valley. Which, honestly, is another one of those huge difficulty spikes in this game. <laughs> yeah, because you can get a cold in there. I mean, that's not the problem. The problem is all the enemies that are just brutal and how long the area is. And not to mention, you can get spored Ooh. and crying yeah. in this area. It's so all those rough. Three combined, which is just not fair. It's a rough area. Plus, yeah, plus you're like solo, yeah. so it's just like fun. Not to mention, like a little bit later on, you find a tree and it just fucking. <laughs> it's like, I won! I died! So it's either you get lucky with the enemy encounters. Or you just get lucky with magic butterflies and shit. Yeah. No Speaking of, I feel like... Uh... What? Okay. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. I feel like all the enemies just died. H hello? No, they don't, uh, they don't appear when they, you walk in the They do appear. I've seen it happen many times before. It's, it's probably quite rare. No, it's, uh, it's not rare. I've gotten bodied by these guys before, but... Really? Yeah. Like, not the yeah, first time. Look, there's, there's enemies. But when you go up the first time... No, it does happen. Down. It does happen. The second time when you go back up there... I've yeah, seen it happen on the first time as well. So ma Like, every other player I've done, I've seen it happen as well. This is the this is the first time I've seen the area so devoid of enemies. It's ridiculous. You're joking. No, I'm not joking. It's literally what it is. I don't believe you. <sighs> like anywhere else on this area. I know I, what I, I saw. I but know here, what I saw. Like, the first time. No. You walk up there and back down. The downwards bit. Yes, enemies appear. It also appears on the upwards up bit! No, it doesn't! Yes, it fucking does! It doesn't. It fucking does! Ah! But anyways, we, we get blocked by a. We get pencil blocked, I guess, not cock blocked. There's a difference. Yeah. So I guess the best thing to do now is back it up and ho go back home, I guess. We concede defeat. <laughs> Because clearly some cosmic being just doesn't want us to go on, because a pencil-shaped iron statue just doesn't just appear out of nowhere like this, you know? Doesn't? You go back this home. is divine intervention, they just don't want us. Divine intervention? Doc, 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 Level up! Offense up by two, yes, by vitality by one, yes! <coughs> ah, it's always good when I get a vitality up, love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like even the cave to Peaceful Rest Valley was totally void of enemies for some reason. It's super weird. Like, again, usually that doesn't happen. Like, uh, yeah, I believe you on that bit, but when you're walking up, nothing happens. First time. At the very least, I feel better now, cause with some of the stuff that happened earlier, with some of the enemy spam that happened, I was like, did the anti-piracy kick in or something? But I don't think it did, cause usually every area would have enemies then, and this one clearly doesn't, so it's like, okay. I think I'm safe. Maybe, maybe you just got all the enemies out of the way. Eh, but yeah. Enter Paris in this game is actually scary because if you beat the final boss or like get a bit into the final boss, it deletes all your save data. Fucking brutal. Yeah, but but if you want to challenge yourself, it's like oh, yeah, have I have the game right here. But the game is also very unstable during that fucking run. So you know. Hello, oh, this is Epicid. Well, it's gonna crash a lot because of sprite overload and stuff. Yeah. So you know. Okay, there, there, there's the enemies. See, this is... Yeah, it's, this is where it picks up. 
Don't you have a SNES Mini? I do. I have a NES Mini, not a SNES Mini. <laughs> so you know. SNES Mini. I wanted a SNES Mini, but I could never find one, which is kind of sad. I think the games on the SNES Mini is pretty good. Yeah, and they add like some filters to uh, help against and epilepsy backgrounds. and stuff. Yeah, like when there's a lot of flashing you know, from a smash attack, there's like a filter that helps against that. They yeah. also had the full version of uh, yeah. Star Fox 2 on it. Oh yeah, that too. Although I do Which think that released. ROM has been dumped already, so that's nice. Oh yeah, now we got the number for Mark Pizza, so we can order a pizza whenever we want. Fucking nice. Yeah, the pizza in this game is really good, like, yeah. if you need it in the pinch. It's just good healing item. Wait, doesn't it heal, like, heal everyone if you get, like, the uh, biggest one? Maybe. Maybe. I think it does. You can get a pre on this video for a bit of 100 on eBay. Hmm. <laughs> That's not bad. I don't remember how much I bought my NES Mini for, but I think it was just retail price. So, you know. I'm just gonna guess that I have to... I'm just gonna guess the price of the hotel. 50 bucks! Okay, let's go. So, here we go, you... Raid the hotel. Hi, Paula. I'm Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help! Come and help me! I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Well, that about covers it to about 70% of Earth. Good to know. Yeah, and also, by you saying it costs like 100 euros, it costs 84 pounds and 27p. Huh. It's not much here. So it's kind of nice. Oh yeah, this is kind of funny. What? So, what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez! Hmm? You're annoying! Dang me! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey you! Later days, pal! <laughs> it's so hot today! Rocks! Is it cold today? Oh ho ho! See ya! Here, get yourself a juice or something! That's got fifty dollars! Piss off! It's 50 bucks. I'm gonna pay you $100 to fuck off. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you, there's no bathrooms in video games anyway, so that's like the main joke. You can never see a bathroom unless you're in Modern 3. <laughs> that's where you're wrong. <laughs> no, like actually in Chapter 8, there's like one like part of like the final dungeon where there's like just bathrooms. Yeah, no. It's pretty great. Yeah, no. But like other RPGs do have yeah. bathrooms. I guess, but Earthbot makes fun of that, because in video games usually there's no bathrooms and it's pretty great. Yeah, but you'll probably see one soon. No, not enough one. After this game. Yeah. Anyways, I think this is gonna be a good place to stop. Next time we're gonna rush through Peaceful Rest Valley, hopefully without too much hassle. I hope. I'm gonna suffer. And we're, gonna, we're probably gonna get a second melody, get Paula, and maybe get to freed? I don't know. What I do know is we'll probably crush a cult, so that's always good. <laughs>